Hi, the goal of this lesson is to teach you how to graph equations in the form y equals mx in two ways. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to graph equations like these. To do this, you must absolutely already understand slope. I would highly recommend watching my video on slope so you're familiar with the language that I use. One way is to follow these three steps. Step one, make a table. Step two, plot the points. And step three, connect them. So for example, for y equals 3x, we pick simple numbers for x and multiply them by three. So negative two times three, negative one times three, etc. We have our points, now we plot them, and step three, we connect. That works, but the question is, is there a faster way? Is there a faster way to plot points without having to make, uh, do these calculations, without having to make a table? Okay. Well, let's look for a pattern. We notice that as we go here to here, we go right one and up three. Right one, up three. Well, right one, up three, that's the slope, right? That's the steepness of the line. Well, how do we know that ahead of time? Well, the equation tells us this number right here tells us the slope of the line, in this case, three. So what this means is, how do we graph these equations? Well, the equation tells us the slope. Once we know the slope, we quickly plot points. Okay. We'll do another example. Okay. For y equals 2 thirds times x, again, we pick simple values for x, and we multiply by 2 thirds. So 0 times 2 thirds, 3 times 2 thirds. Okay. We have our points, and we plot them. Again, the question is, is there a pattern that allows us to quickly plot points without having to make a table or do any calculations? Well, I'm sure you've noticed that from here to here, we go right three and up two, right three, up two. The question is, where does that come from? How do we know to go right three, up two? Well, from right here, the equation tells us the slope. So this number here is the slope. Okay. So the, the point is this, uh, how do we graph these equations? We start at 0, 0. Why 0, 0? Well, when x is 0, no matter what number is here, 0 times any number equals 0. Now, from 0, 0, what do we do? We use the slope to quickly plot more points. How do we know the slope? Well, the slope is whatever number is here that's multiplying x. So let's practice that. So what's the slope here? In general, just m. What's the slope here? 6. The slope is 0.03 and the slope is 5 fourths. Could be a whole number, fraction, decimal, whatever it is, the slope is this number that's multiplying x. Okay? Let's review slope. Okay? If we know the slope is 5 over 1, or 5, what does that mean? Well, it means as x increases by 1, y increases by 5. So graphically, we go right 1 and up 5. What does the slope of 1 fourth mean? It means as we go right 4, we go up 1. For 0.15, that means as we go right 1, we go up 0.15. 4 thirds, right 3, and up 4. Okay. With that in mind, let's graph this equation. Where do we start? 0, 0. Why? Because when x is 0, any number times 0 equals 0. Now, how are we graphing? We're not making a table. We're using this slope to quickly plot more points. Okay. So what's the slope? What's well, this number right here that's multiplying x? The same number. So 1 half. What does the slope of 1 half mean? It means as we go right two, we go up one. So right two, up one, right two, up one. Now to plot points over here, we go left two, down one, left two, down one. So we've quickly plotted our points, except we just connect, and we're done. Okay. For one third, again, where do we start? Zero, zero. When x is zero, zero times anything is zero. What's the slope? One third. What does that mean? It means as x increases by three, y increases by 1. Okay, we go right 3 and up 1. Or left 3 and down 1. Left 3, down 1. We have our points, we connect, and we're done. Okay. Uh, for y equals 2x, just from now on, we automatically start at 0, 0. Okay. What's the slope? It's 2, or 2 over 1. What does that mean? It means as we go right 1, we go up 2. Right 1, up 2. Or left 1, down 2. Left 1, down 2. And we connect, and that's our graph. Okay. Here, there's an invisible 1, so it's actually x times 1. So the slope is 1, or 1 over 1. 
we go right one, up one, right one, up one. Or left one, down one, left one, down one. We connect, and that's our graph. Okay. So far, we've been graphing lines with positive slope. Now we're going to graph lines with negative slope. But let's first review what positive slope means. Okay. Positive slope means as x increases, y increases also. In other words, we go right and up. Okay. We know the word negative means opposite. So negative slope means as x increases, y decreases. We go right and down. Okay. With that in mind, let's practice. What does the slope of negative 1 fourth mean? It means as x increases by 4, y decreases by 1. In other words, we go right 4 and down 1. This means we go right 3 and down 5. Negative 2 is negative 2 over 1. That means as x increases by 1, y decreases by 2. Right 1 and down 2. With that in mind, let's graph this equation. Again, we're starting at 0, 0. Why? Because uh, when x is 0, any number times 0 equals 0. What's the slope? Negative 2 thirds. What does that mean? It means we go right 3 and down 2. Right 3, down 2. That also means we go left 3, up 2. Left 3, up 2. We have our points and we connect. Okay. So at 0, 0, what's the slope? There's a negative 1 right here. So negative 1 is the same as negative 1 over 1. So we go right 1 and down 1. Right 1, down 1. That's the same as going left and up. And we have our points and we connect and we're done. Okay. Uh, again, start from 0, 0. The slope is negative 3, which is negative 3 over 1. So we go right 1 and down 3. Right 1, down 3. Or left 1, up 3. Left 1, up 3. Connect and we're done. Okay. In summary, the quicker way to graph is to start at 0, 0 and to use the slope to plot more points. What's the slope? It's whatever number is here that's multiplying x. Uh, if you forget this, um, you can always, almost always, make a table. So if you're taking a test and you forget the quick way to graph, just make a table. Okay, that's all. I hope that helped. Thanks for watching.